This is the new Asus ROG Strix K15 and this is a laptop made purely for hardcore gaming. Everything about this laptop has been designed to appeal to gamers. Now obviously, when there's a gaming laptop, everyone wants to know the specs and the specs are really good here, but this design deserves a lot of attention. So this is a laptop and I think it looks really cool. It just stands out. The lid here is aluminium and I like the ROG logo and this strip that goes across. There are also these armor caps which are customizable. So Asus bundles two additional armor caps in the box. So you can replace it like this whenever you want. Plus Asus offers blueprints for these armor caps so that users can 3D print them and get more options. Anyway, the cut across the lid is also present here on the keyboard and as you can see, one half is a semi-transparent palm rest which shows you the motherboard and the other internals. The bottom also has some interesting design elements along with the rubberized grip. Now this is a gaming laptop, so there's RGB all around. The ROG logo on the lid lights up. There's a wraparound light bar at the front edges to add a glow to your desk. And there's more LEDs beneath the display to add this cool looking glow. The keyboard also has perky RGB and all of these LEDs can be customized from the Armory Crate app. Design elements apart, this is not a thin and lightweight laptop. This weighs 2.4 kg, which is kind of expected in a gaming laptop, but you can move it around if you want. The display is all about gaming too. It comes in 15 inch and 17 inch variants. And these are the specs of our unit. And two things really stand out. 2K resolution, 240 Hertz fast refresh rate. First of the panel used here is really good. Watching media on this was an amazingly good experience and I had lots of fun with it. The viewing angles are good, the color accuracy is good and the blacks are extremely deep for an IPS panel. This display also has support for Dolby Vision and I could see the Dolby Vision tag in the Netflix app. The screen here is also matte so there was no reflections or anything but I did feel the screen wasn't the brightest. I mean 300 nits is fine most of the times but yeah I would have liked it to be brighter. Besides that, it's a top-notch display, especially because the 240Hz refresh rate with adaptive sync makes the Windows 11 experience smooth and responsive. And the fast refresh rate also makes experience with FPS games amazing. Now, I know you want to know the specs. The ROG Strix K15 we have comes with the new 12th gen Intel Core i9 processor that can go up to 5 GHz, has 6 high performance cores and 8 efficiency cores with 20 threads. On the GPU front, there's NVIDIA's RTX 3070 Ti with 8 GB of VRAM. And when it comes to storage and RAM, there's DDR5 RAM and PCIe Gen 4 SSD. Now do note that both the RAM and storage are upgradable. Now the specs are impressive, so we obviously ran some benchmarks on this laptop. These are the Cinebench scores of the laptop on high performance mode and these scores are good. The 12th gen Intel chips and has even managed to beat the Ryzen 9 5950X here. Now here's the Geekbench 5 score now and once again the scores are very high. In fact, the single core score is the same as an 11th gen i9 desktop CPU. We also ran 3D Mark and the score is excellent. The Time Spy score shows that the GPU can handle even 3D apps pretty easily. And the Fire Strike score means that it can run most of the games on 100 plus FPS in 1080p settings. We also ran the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark to test the SSD and the read write speeds are in line with the power of the Gen 4. Apart from these benchmarks, we also encoded a 12 minute 4K video to 1080p on Handbrake and the laptop took just 4 minutes 26 seconds to do it. Anyway, test these numbers apart. Let me show you the gaming performance on this laptop. So we started off with Cyberpunk 2077, which is an intensive game and it performed really well on the laptop. Running the game on 2K resolution with ray tracing set to ultra gave an average of 50 FPS with the max FPS around 70, which is pretty good. I mean, this is enough to prove that this can handle AAA titles with ease. Now running the game at Full HD was even better. The average FPS was over 70 with the FPS going as high as 115. We also played Doom Eternal and at 2K resolution and ultra settings, the FPS was around 120, which is really good. We also played Rainbow Six Siege and at native 2K at Ultra, the game output at an FPS of 213, which is awesome. I mean, Upanishad in our team is a long time R6 player and he was impressed with the laptop's performance. Look, the bottom line is the game performance on the Strix Car 15 is really good and so are the thermals. The thermal performance of the Strix Car 15 is actually something that really impressed us all. There are two arc flow fans, four heat sinks lined with super thin copper fins and there's liquid metal cooling. Plus, there are all these vents for airflow. In fact, there are small vents around the WASD keys to draw cool air. All of this combines for very good thermal performance. During all the gaming, the laptop never got hot or even uncomfortably warm to the touch, be it the keyboard or the trackpad. It was all pretty normal. The fans are also pretty good. The airflow is good and nice and they can get loud depending on the setting, but they never really bother you. The laptop is also solid when it comes to day-to-day -day usage. In my daily usage of Chrome, Slack, 4K videos, the performance was very good without any slowdowns. 
The laptop also comes with the great Armory Crate app, which is something I've always liked about ROG laptops. It shows the detailed info, lets you choose between different performance modes. There are also the MUX switch settings. Yes, the laptop has a MUX switch, which Asus says brings an average 10% performance bump. Anyway, you can also set up the Keystone experience here. Yeah, the laptop supports the Keystone physical key, so you can just plug it on and you get these effects along with your performance profile or anything you set it up to. Apart from this, Armory Crate also lets you customize the hotkeys in the keyboard. Yes, the keyboard has these quick access hotkeys for different controls and they're totally customizable. As of the keyboard, this is the layout and this is a dome rubber keyboard with evenly spaced keys. And the typing experience on this is nice and comfortable. The trackpad is also pretty big and responsive and it also has numpad support like this. When it comes to the ports, there are two USB-A ports and the headphone jack on the left. On the back, you get two USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 4 and display port support, along with HDMI and Ethernet. As for the speakers, there are quad speakers with Dolby Atmos, two tweeters here under the display and two woofers at the bottom. Now the speakers here aren't very loud but the clarity is good and there's pretty good bass for a laptop speaker. Now one thing you must have noticed is that there's no webcam in this laptop but I like the fact that Asus bundles this 1080p webcam in the box. Now you can just fix it here or you can use it in the stand which Asus also bundles in the box and this camera supports FHD photos and FHD videos at up to 60 FPS. Lastly there's a 90 watt hour battery and this big charging brick. Now I don't really expect great battery life from a gaming laptop and in our usage the battery life on the Stris Car 15 was around 4 hours. The charging is speedy though, the battery charged to 81% in just one hour. Overall, the new ROG Strix Car 15 in 2022 is a power pack laptop for gamers. I mean, the performance boost from the last gen is actually great. I mean, you get the latest 12th gen Intel CPU, the 3070 Ti GPU, a WQHD panel, faster RAM and storage, and the performance in our usage so far has been really impressive. Plus there's the super cool design that just stands out, be it from the outside or the inside. And I like that the usual laptop aspects are also high end. Now we don't know the price yet, but it should be pretty high considering it's a high end gaming laptop and there's the whole chip shortage situation. Anyway, I'll be adding the price of this laptop in the comments down below. So make sure to let us know your thoughts on this laptop in the comments down below. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.